Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday's Reading the Red, this beautiful sunny morning. Uh, we're looking at Matthew chapter 7, uh, verse 26. Jesus just finishing off uh, a little comparison teaching. Um, and uh, Reading the Red is a study of four minutes on something Jesus said. So here we go. Um, 26. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house, who built his house upon the sand. So everyone who hears these words of mine, Jesus says. So he's talking to disciples primarily in this encounter, but there are other people there as well. And it is possible to be amongst people, even though you're not of people. So there are different types of people listening. There are people that want to obey what Jesus has to say, want to learn these new revelations regarding who God is. And there are others there who are what we might call those who are inquiring. They're just inquisitive about the things that Jesus says. And so he goes on, everyone who hears these words, and now alternatively, everyone who hears them but doesn't act upon them. Now, the reality of knowing something is one thing, but the importance of the things that we know is more important than just knowing. So that's why we need to act upon the things that we know. It's no good knowing that it's right to be kind and yet don't be kind. There's no point in knowing that it's right to be forgiving and yet don't forgive. So the reality of the things that Jesus is saying is that we need to hear the words. And we've talked before about hearing not just with our head, but hearing within our hearts, in our spirits. The first thing is to hear. And then once we've heard and we know it, we know that what's being said is right. Then we need to live a life that's going to act upon the things that Jesus says. Because if we don't, it's like foolishness. You know, I was, I've been a builder in my lifetime and I've built houses. And the reality is that you can't build on sand. Not really. You, could, you, could, you can't go down a beach and just throw a house up. It won't be there. There is actually a place where building on sand is a really good thing, but that's deep down. So the reality of building something, if you want to make it last is you have to build it well. And building is about learning to apply what we know and do what we know is right and act upon the things that Jesus says. So if Jesus says, love your enemy, pray for those who persecute you, love your enemy, pray for those who persecute you. So the next time someone hurts you and offends you and causes you hassle, don't get all caught up and twisted up and, and angry think the way to win back your friend is to love them, to forgive them, to restore what's broken. If someone uh, steals your, your, your car, if someone steals your car, don't get all twisted up and, you know, it's stolen. There's nothing you can do about it. If you know who's stolen it, then the way forward is to forgive them. This war is going to present a whole load of forgiveness in terms of needed for one another later. Um, and if people do forgive, then they'll move on. If they don't, then they won't. Our time is gone. Sorry about the delay. I'll see you tomorrow.